Hi, everyone, and welcome to Discovery Days with the Oklahoma Hall of Fame in Gaylord Pickens Museum. We are so excited you guys are joining us today. We have an awesome day in store with a fun book about frogs. We're going to make our own front frog crafts and learn all about a really cool Oklahoma Hall of Fame member named Linda Twine. So thing, we want to take a quick moment to say thank you to our sponsors with the Chickasaw Nation and the Inasmuch Foundation for making free family programming in 2020 possible. As you all know, this is our museum located in Midtown, Oklahoma City. We absolutely love this museum and love getting to share all of the fun exhibits and programs with you guys. We have lots of new exhibits coming to you guys in 2021, so make sure to come see us. Our mission is to tell Oklahoma's story through its people. Every day we work really hard to share the story of, an, of Oklahomans with all generations because we believe that Oklahomans are changing the world. So today our inspiring story is that of Oklahoma Hall of Fame member Linda Twine. So Linda Twine's family encouraged her love of music from a very young age. When she was an adult, she moved to New York and took on a lot of odd jobs until she got her big break with the Broadway hit The Wiz when she substituted playing the piano one night. And ever since then, she's been a smashing success. So she is now a renowned composer and conductor. One of the reasons that we chose Miss Linda Twine today to go, it goes with our story about a frog. One of her biggest Broadway hits is a musical called Caroline or Change, A Year with Frog and Toad. So that being said, we're going to jump right in with a fun story called Froggy Bottom Blues. All right, I'm going to switch this over so you guys can see my story as we read along. Okay, so Froggy Bottom Blues. Dear Mama, I found a trumpet beside Frog Creek. It's a sign. I'm off to Memphis to play the blues. Love, your daughter, the trumpet player. Ellen Zander Frog hopped to the creek and hitched a ride all the way to the Mississippi River. She practiced her toots and trills. She paddled to shore for lunch. Toodaloo, she blew. A pelican swooped down from his perch. May I play your trumpet? Easy handed him the horn. His song filled the river bottom. She hummed along. Nice. What do you call that? Easy asked. Froggy bottom blues, Pelican said. Easy smiled. You should play in Memphis. Pelican shrugged. I'm just a fisherman. I don't even have a horn. Keep this one, Easy said. But I have nothing to offer in return. Well, nothing but this sardine tin. I'll take it, Easy said. Easy headed up river, still humming. Just past Natchez, she lugged the boat to shore. She crawled inside just in time. Pitter, pitter, pit, the rain sang. Easy sang along. A field mouse peeked in. Come in, Easy invited. It's dry in here. They sang until the sun came up. I won't need this tin in Memphis, Easy said. Why don't you keep it? Mouse picked at a piece of string, but I have nothing to offer in return. Well, nothing but these two tuna cans. I'll take them. Easy tied the cans together with a lap. With a last goodbye, she hopped away, beating her tuna can bongos and humming Froggy Bottom Blues. Just past Greenville, Easy stopped to fish for mayflies. When her belly was full, she fell asleep. Tum a tum tum, Easy jumped. Hey, who's playing my bongos? A woodpecker nodded and tapped. Easy couldn't help but sing along. When the song trickled to a hum, Easy told Woodpecker, Keep the drums, you should be playing in Memphis. But I have nothing to offer in return, Woodpecker said. Well, nothing but, wait a minute. He flew to a hole in a tree and came back with a scrap of paper. The scrap said, enter the talent show at Possum's Place on Beale Street, and the date on it was May 12th. But you see how it's torn? I bet that comes into play. Maybe I'll see you there, Woodpecker said. He flew away. Easy read the paper again. May 12th, that's tomorrow. A riverboat shrilled its horn. Easy swam as fast as her legs could paddle. One good jump landed her on the deck. A blue-eyed cat growled and licked her lips. No stowaways on my boat. Easy croaked. I need to get to Memphis. Cat swished her tail. Oh yeah, show me what you got. Easy began to sing. Cat purred along. I could use some company, Cat said. I guess you could stay. They sang until the boat docked in Memphis. Cat drew Easy a map. Easy hopped up streets. She hopped down streets. She hopped right through, a pos right through Possum's door, waving the scrap of paper. I'm here to enter the talent show, she sang. That talent show was last year, Possum said. Easy slumped, bumped away. The song stuck in her throat. Toodaloo, toodaloo, Easy stopped. 
That sounds like Froggy Bottom Blues. Is a pelican playing trumpet? Yes, Possum said. A tum-tum-tum made her jumpers jiggle. Is that a woodpecker playing drums? Yes, Possum said. I'm the singer for the band. Pelican's voice floated down from the stage. About time you got here. Tumpty tumpty woodpecker tapped. When the boat left the next morning, Cat carried a note to Mama Xander Frog. Dear Mama, here are two tickets to opening night at Possum's Place on Beale Street. Come here easy in the come here easy in the boys. Love your daughter, the blues singer. All right. Well, what a fun story about a frog who didn't give up until she made her dreams come true. We're gonna make our own frogs today. We're gonna need a yellow piece of construction paper, a really big green circle, a red circle, and a few smaller green circles, along with our glue stick, our black crown, and our regular crowns. All right, so we're gonna jump right in. We need our, I'm gonna go ahead and get my crowns out here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take our green circle and we're gonna fold it in half. I want you to fold it in half just like this and then flip it over. And we're gonna put glue all over the back side of our circle, just like so. And then we're gonna flip it over and glue it down on our paper. Remember to press on those edges really good. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our red circle and we're gonna put glue all over one side of the circle. All right. Okay, so now that we've got that glue, we're gonna place it in the center of our circle just like that. And then we're gonna fold it in half again on that same crease that we had for the green. And now that's our frog's mouth. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue on the bottom part of one of these, of one of these smaller green circles. And we're gonna glue it to the body or the mouth of the frog, just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this, with this circle. Put it just like that. All right, there we go. So the next thing we need is the body of our frog. So we're gonna take that last green circle and put glue all over the back of it. And we're gonna leave ourselves a little bit of space between them and then glue that down. So now we need to take our crowns, my glue stick up here. So now we need to take our crown and we're going to take our green crown. We're going to draw the connecting between the body here and then we're going to need some hands and some legs. All right. And remember, frogs have webbed think have webbed hands, right? So we're going to uh, they have pads. So we're going to draw three little circles for each one here. All right, just like that. And I think our frog is missing one thing, eyes. So up here on our eyes, we're gonna put black circles just like that. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna stop sharing so you guys can see my full frog here. All right, so this is my full frog, you can see his hair. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's program and we can't wait to see you next time. Bye.